Hey guys, what's up? This is Ford Tech Make Your Local once again. Uh, we got a diesel today. It's a 95 direct injection 7.3 diesel. And I already fixed it, but I figured I would uh, do a video on what I did and to, to fix it. Because winter like temperatures are upon us and uh, a cold, bitter winter, winter is ahead. And um, a lot of these diesels are going to start having cold star problems. Now the 7.3's are very reliant on the uh, glow plug relay and later on they had a uh, intake heater which would be over here and then the glow plug relay I believe is still in the back side but they added a uh, intake heater right here. It looks just like this relay but it's up here and that one's easy to identify which one it is because they'll have a, the main thick wire like this coming off it and it'll be sticking into the intake which is aluminum on that one. And uh, that's that's a whole different uh, issue. It's for cold start emissions and all that. Now, when this one came in, it, it literally just crank, crank, cranked. Would not even uh, attempt to start. No sputtering. No, no uh, hiccuping. It just would just crank, crank, crank without even trying to start. Um, and that just goes to show how reliant these are on that glow plugs on the, on the, on the glow plugs uh, providing that heat in this cylinder. The customer actually used ether to start this one which you should never do but once they got started and it fired in the cylinder um, obviously the oil and the fuel systems were all intact so that it, it, it ran but it ran horribly either way because it relies on the glow plugs upon start for smooth idle and emissions and for uh, cold start driveway also now the other thing that's really common on the uh, Huey injected uh, uh, diesel engines is the oil actually um, being sludged up in the injectors but more commonly being so thick and uh, it actually sticks to one side the spool valve in there and that's a whole different issue that's that's really common also um, today I'll be focusing on the uh, glow plug relay as it is very common and it's gonna start to rear its ugly head now that the the colder temperatures are happening you're gonna start getting your nose starts Whereas before, in the summer, you may get a rough uh, hard start or um, rough idle after start. Okay, we're going to identify each terminal on this glow plug relay. This one right here with the boot on it is your constant hot from the battery. Uh, it's constantly on, so they want to keep it protected from arcing. This one right here, this other high current one post, is out to your glow plugs, one for each bank. And then this one right here is your constant on power. Uh, whenever the key is on, this has power. So you're going to check for that. And then this one is your control, your ground control from the PCM. I'm going to show you how to test it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is test that main positive that comes in uh, for voltage. And we got 12.7, which is very voltage. So we're good there. Okay, we're going to test the control side now. This terminal right here where the multimeter is connected to should have power when the key is on and when the engine is running only. So we got voltage there, okay, we're good there, our inputs are good. Now in order to test it, have someone in the cab turn the key on, engine off, and go to that main power lug that's coming out for the glow plugs. And when they turn the key on, that wait to start lamp is on, you should have voltage at this terminal. Now when you turn the key on and the glow plug relay turns on, it's going to make a loud clicking noise. This does not always indicate that the actual contacts inside of there are working. So we're still going to test that output lug and make sure we have voltage. Now the old relay that was on here actually was making a clicking, real strong clicking. It was not burnt on the outside and it was uh, still not putting out power. So it, it can happen where it clicks and it sounds strong and everything seems to work. You're ground and, and positive for the control side. Everything works. Your, your main lug has power you still need to make sure it's actually coming out and glowing and going to the glow plugs. So you just turn the key on, you can see that the glow plug relay is on and we're getting power out of that lug and we're going out to the uh, glow plugs. Now you can hear the sound of this one, this is an aftermarket one. Very good reason not to put an aftermarket one on. This one will probably fail soon. Although it has a warranty, you might as well get the Ford one. Now for reference, this one was $120 aftermarket. The genuine Ford one that has a 24 month unlimited mile warranty, which is a new warranty they got out now, 
is $89. So in order to change this out, you need to either pull this terminal off and be careful with it with the rag or something like that so it doesn't arc out because it is live and it is high current wire. Preferably disconnect both negatives and the batteries and then pull this terminal off, that terminal, that terminal, that terminal and then all you got is an 8 mil there and an 8 mil there uh, bolts that hold to the bracket here and that's all there is to that. You just need to be mindful of those uh, high current lugs there and wires. Um, so test it out and see and that be one of the easiest things to get to and the most common failure we see um, is the glow plug relay and it's an easy test and it's something you can do yourself so I hope this has helped uh, it's a very common failure and uh, if it has please subscribe uh, there'll be many more diesel and gasoline engine videos uh, coming up especially with the uh, colder season coming up I'm sure the, we'll be seeing a lot more diesels in the shop, and I'll try to catch some videos um, on uh, common repairs. So uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, leave them in the uh, comments down below. And I really appreciate uh, subscribing to my channel. Until next time, 